What's in my head is, I've done it. I can't believe it, I've done it. Manny, come on. 2020 has been a very strange year for everyone. It's the first time I can remember in my career that I've not had an obvious goal in the short term coming up. I think the biggest adversities that I've had to overcome are injuries. And they're very, very tough for athletes and the part of the sport and part of triathlon when you do that much training. The biggest injury I've ever had was I had a, a, a femoral stress fracture in 2015. And you know, you don't really want to show that kind of weakness. All endurance athletes, to some extent, are very good at trying to come across as unbreakable. We don't like showing weaknesses in races or in training. You know, in races, when you're against your opposition, you want to make it look easy, you want to make it look like you're not suffering. And in training, the same. So maybe we do take that into our day-to-day -day life of uh, hiding things because we're kind of taught not to do that. Because as athletes, you are taught to basically lie to your body. You know, you tell yourself that you can go faster and you can keep on going. You tell yourself that it's going to hurt. And sometimes I really, really embrace and enjoy that suffering. What I really wanted to do this year is have a real good challenge. The Daytona race has offered that challenge for me. The depth of the field is incredible. It's probably the strongest non-drafting race that there's ever been. The person that I'd most like to be is definitely my brother. <laughs> Alistair is an unbelievable athlete. If you want to beat Alistair, you've got to be fitter than him because he's going to suffer more than you. And if I could beat him in Daytona, it would be absolutely incredible. There's always that doubt. What am I doing here? Why do I put myself through this? But resilience for me are those people who can get through those real tough days. You're trying to get a bit of peace in your own race, so you're thinking about relaxing your arms, holding your technique, holding your form. The guys next to me, I can feel the nerves. Your arms will be hurting, your legs will be hurting. You're lying to yourself now. You're telling yourself there's only a few minutes to go and you'll be fine, it'll get easier. But you know it's just going to get harder and harder. Your technique will feel like it's gone. Your head will probably feel like it's gone. But you're just praying about getting across that finish line. Most of the people probably see me as a person who got carried across the finish line by their older brother. I'd like to be seen as someone who never gives up. As someone who, when I'm on my best form, that I'm very difficult to beat.